Multiple contact! Yeah! Yeah! No! <laughs> Fuck off! All right, let's do this fucking shit, man. Who's on my team? Got a good team, bad team? I have freaking no idea. Really? That guy wasn't weak whatsoever? We're using kind of like the douchiest sniper class I could have possibly think of. Just a silencer, a thermal, and a stock, and I think that's it. So, oh, and rapid fire. We always have to have rapid fire on, man. That was accidental no scope, but I'll, t I'll take it, I'll take it. So the reason I haven't been playing in like four days and the reason I had to schedule upload videos, I don't know if you guys follow me on Twitter, if you guys do, you guys probably know what I'm about to say. I ended up going on a vacation trip with my girlfriend. You know, I wanted to be with her during um, New Year's, and I told her uh, last year that I'd be with her too. So last year we did something, and then this year we did something. It was awesome. We had a good time. We ended up staying at a hotel, which is a Super 8. If you guys know anything about hotels, Super 8s are kind of like the ghetto version of any any hotel pretty much like they're just the ghetto version they're like the dumbed down version that no one really wants to go to but if they have to it's a cheap alternative so we ended up staying there because i'm poor shit um but uh the hotel cost was about a hundred and some dollars so we split the cost i think it was like 69 dollars a room but then they had this like point system that i freaking had online apparently i had like 2,000 points randomly collected from I don't know, God, how I got these points. I'm probably for being awesome. Uh, basically, I had 2,000 points. I had to buy 4,000 points plus $60 for the room charge. So it ended up being like $55 for us both. I do not want to get shocked by Mr. Shocky over there. Um, we ended up spending 55 bucks each on the room. Um, and that was, that was nice. It was cheap. And uh, we didn't have to stay at like some really expensive hotel or spend like a ridiculous amount of money, like $100 a night or something like that. Because I wasn't about to spend that amount of money, man. We did stay at a Super 8 last year. That was terrible. Like it didn't even have a refrigerator or a microwave in it. And it has, it was like it didn't upgrade its appliances since like the 90s. So we picked this one instead. We ended up staying here. We ate at a Max the first night, which was like this macaroni place. It was freaking delicious, by the way. Like, probably the best macaroni and cheese I've ever freaking had in my entire life. I don't even like macaroni and cheese, to be honest. I freaking don't like it. I just don't like the consistency of macaroni and cheese, and the, the cheese from it is just not that good, in my opinion. So, and I fucking love cheese, man. I'm from Wisconsin. What do you what do you expect? I freaking love, love cheese. I just, I could just stick it in my butthole and use it as like a dildo i don't know so it was like homemade macaroni and cheese with amazing freaking noodles like the best noodles i could slurp them right off the plate and um basically it wasn't just macaroni and cheese they had different flavors of macaroni and cheese they had like chicken chipotle they had chicken bacon ranch what are we going right now 165 uh they had uh like a spinach mushroom one with onion they had uh like a jalapeno one uh, a cheeseburger one, like all these crazy ones that you no one would ever think of. And then they come in like a thing that's like this big and it's so much macaroni, so much toppings on it. And it was so good. It was like the best macaroni and cheese I've ever had. It was like the best food that I've had in a long, long time. And it was so cheap. It was like 10 bucks for something that I could use for leftovers for like three nights for myself. And this was the night of uh, New Year's Eve. So we went home. I was feeling exhausted because I had to do like the uh, scheduled upload it's for you guys uh, for basically the three days that were two days I was going to be gone, which was basically s Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and I was gone for those days. And I was like, I need to make videos for you guys. I don't want to. I don't want to miss a day because I love you guys, and that's just what I want to do. You know, I just want to treat you guys with the most respect, and you guys deserve the videos. And can this guy freaking die? Someone kill this munchkin! Die! <laughs> um, we ended up getting uh, some drinks. I ended up not even drinking because I was so freaking tired from those schedule uploads that I just passed out. She was drinking a little bit beforehand. Uh, she ended up falling asleep with me as well. And uh, I woke up at like 11.42 or something. I was like, man, I did not miss it. I was like, I made sure. Like my body was telling me, he's like, don't freaking miss the New Year's. You don't want to miss it. I always make sure every year I don't miss it because I don't want to miss it. Freaking amazing time to be alive. I don't know why, but it's like a two second woo for yourself. You're like, fuck yeah, I made it through another year. I'm not dead yet. So yeah, we turned something on quickly uh, just to watch the ball drop. And uh, it was it was nice. It was cool to see uh, you know New Year's pass and stuff like that with her. And uh, it it ended up going swell. We stayed up for a little bit longer. We actually stayed up until like 5 a.m. or something crazy like that. And uh, I don't to be honest, I don't know why the hell we stayed up that late. That's usually my schedule anyways. But um, I need to kill this guy. Hold on. What? No! I ended up sleeping in until like 3 p.m. the next day. What did we end up going to? Some 
some mall or something that was like an outside mall and it's freaking freezing. It was like 20 degrees. So we we're going to try to find a swimsuit real quick because she promised that she was going to bring my swimsuit because I always leave it at home at her house. And apparently she didn't bring it this year. So I was kind of shit out of luck for having a swimsuit and she actually didn't bring bottoms either. So we were like, fuck. Now how are we gonna swim? We don't have any swimsuit, we don't have anything. Now I'm not gonna about to wear my jeans or anything like that, like hell no, man. That's not about to happen. This is such a good spot. Bunk! Bunk! <laughs> Anyone else? Anyone else? Bunk! 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 What the hell is going on? Uh, the outside mall, and it was so cold outside. I don't know why they have outlet malls in Wisconsin where it's 20 degrees, people were shopping, it was packed. And you have to walk around in this little inside, sort of inside outside area that was like literally freezing. Everyone had like probably four or five jackets on. And uh, when we were walking around there, we were literally trying to go to every freaking shop to try to find a swimsuit. But what do you know? It's not the season to sell swimsuits, that's what I thought. But there's so many hotels and like water parks around that I thought that they would at least sell some swimsuits, right? They didn't. So yeah, we end up freaking not finding a, uh, a swimsuit anywhere because apparently that's not a thing and they don't uh, sell swimsuits some swimsuits swim swimsuits die swimsuits at all uh, at any place any place uh, in the malls over there for some reason even though there's water parks freaking everywhere uh, which doesn't make any sense to me because you'd think they would but uh hey dude hey hi how you doing I wanted to kiss you for a second um fuck fuck it I'm doing it oh <laughs> We ended up having to go to this water park. We walk in the water park. We go to the nearest stupid shop crap that we can possibly find. I'm going to set myself on fire. I don't care. I'm, I'm burning alive tonight. I love it. I love just touching fire. Fire is great. Um, we walk in the little shop there. And they we're trying to find swimsuits. And thank God there was one in my freaking size. Because I was about to just not wear a big ass one. And have my dick come out during a slide accident. And then basically be looked at as a pedo minecrafter. And I don't want that to happen. We finally find swimsuits. She actually had to buy herself one too. And uh, she was nice enough to buy my uh, swimsuit as well. Which cost her like $92 overall for a swimsuit. Never buy a swimsuit at a freaking resort. Don't ever do it. It's not good. Not good for you, and uh, it'll hurt your wallet big time. I'm taking a wrench? Oh, hell yeah! Give me that wrench, son! Hey, hey, come here. Come here, I'm about to boink you in the head. RPG. Where you at? Where you at, sucker? Where you at, sucker? Come here. Come here. Bonk! Bonk! <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I leveled up the wrench? Bonk! God damn it! That is so much fun. I want the wrench, man. Um, so yeah, uh, after that $90 upcharge, we ended up going to the actual part of the, the resort where it had the water park, right? So we had to wait in line, which was like maybe five or ten minutes. That wasn't the, uh, you know, the worst part about it. But, uh, we ended up getting an evening pass, which, you know, is like 30 bucks, right? It's not an all-day pass, but it's like from five o'clock to like close, which is actually a pretty good time to go. Uh, so we ended up getting that, right? And it's like 60 bucks. I told her I was going to pay for it, uh, because part of her Christmas present or something like that. And then there's a, a locker charge. They always get you on that locker charge. It's like $20, and then once you come back with the receipt, you get $10 back. I don't know what the point of that is. I really don't see a point in that at all. Why don't you just give me the frickin' $10 off the bat? Like, seriously, I'm gonna bring back the frickin' key. I'm not gonna steal it. What else am I gonna do with your key? I'm not gonna open some CSGO crates or anything with your frickin' key that only goes to the locker room that'll get me, like, sweaty socks from, like, some guy that has, like, jerked off in him or something. I don't know. Um, but anyways, uh, we ended up buying that crap. It cost me like $85 or something at the end of it. And uh, I was like, God, so you serious? $85 for a freaking whatever. It doesn't matter. It's as much as my hotel, right? So, yeah, we ended up uh, finally getting into, uh, into the resort. And uh, we were like, okay, so where should we go first? We ended up going, I think, into the uh, one of the slides first. We ended up waiting in line. And uh, it's weird because when I'm older, I used to, like... When I was younger, I used to appreciate water slides a little bit more. I was like, yes, I get to go on a water slide. Didn't care about waiting in line whatsoever because the water slides were so amazing. But since I got older, the water slides are just like, okay, awesome. It's a good enjoyment for like 20 seconds. It's freaking sick. And then I have to wait in line and stand there freezing for about 20 minutes. Just to have another 30 minutes of awesome, warm, fun time with a lot of children's piss in it. We end up uh, going to a slide, and it's like a, it's, it's, it probably wasn't the best slide there. Because we were just like, we might as well get something 
just to get ourselves wet. You know what I'm saying? You gotta get your fingers wet a little bit before you stick them in. So uh, we end up doing that, and uh, we end up going into a hot tub where we meet this couple. We don't really meet them, like we don't talk to them. But I feel like I met them at a weird uh, level that I probably should not have met them on because they were basically doing everything in their body to show that they were in love or like severely wanting to fuck each other because that's exactly what they're doing. They're basically t almost, they're sticking their tongues down each other's throats like every second. And uh, it was a little bizarre because there's kids running around everywhere. And man, I don't want to be one of those people that do that because I find that very kind of, I find that odd that you would, I don't know, do that in front of little kids. I don't know. I, I, I'm, I feel like that's just disrespectful uh, to like parents and stuff that are around. So they're like making out in the hot tub, right? And it's all fine. I'm like, okay, this is a weird ass couple. And I feel like they're following us. I feel like they're like, they're like keeping their eye on us or something. And it was getting weird, right? And I kind of felt that way. I kind of felt that awkward. I noticed this guy, the guy, the boyfriend of this, of this couple, um, he's in front of us. He's without the girlfriend this time, right? And he's like peeking super hard at us. Like he is like almost trying to get like a peek of like my dick or something. And I'm like, man, at least make eye contact with me if you want to get a, you know, a look at my dick. So this guy is just like peeking over like that and trying to get some weird little look that I don't know why he's trying to do in the first place. It's really, really bizarre. And uh, I'm like telling Hadley, I'm like, uh, why is this guy being such a creepy little fuck? Because he was doing it the whole time. Like the whole time in line, he was just like looking behind us. And every time I look at him, he'd look away really quickly. I was like, this dude is creepy as hell. And every time we'd see him, he'd do the same thing. And I thought like he recognized us or was just like, either he recognized me or was just doing something creepy as shit. Probably creepy as shit. That's what I'm expecting because $10 drinks, they were like vodka and like some other crap in them that were like, didn't even get me tipsy whatsoever. Like they were, they were not even worth the money basically uh, because they're just so upcharged. I ended up giving the, the bartender like a $5 tip too. And I don't know why the hell I did that because it wasn't even alcohol in the goddamn thing. I didn't even, I don't even drink, but uh, that, that just pissed me off that there was like no alcohol in the goddamn thing at all. So uh, after we left the water park, after all that mumbo jumbo was done, um, we end up deciding, hey, let's get Domino's because we spent money at Max the other night and uh, we kind of just want an easy, you know, meal or something like that. And uh, so we end up getting uh, Domino's and Domino's was freaking uh, awesome at the time. We were like, hell yeah, Domino's, man, that sounds like a fucking plan. Let's go get some Domino's and have some... Holy crap! Oh, oh, come on, come on, no, 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 ah, get me out of here! Fuck, damn it, there's so many people. So Domino's was a plan and we were like, okay, let's get ourselves a large... We'll split it. We'll split the cost because uh, we asked. We're like, hey, so can we get like, um, can we get half and half pizzas for like the toppings and stuff, right? And uh, they were like, oh no, uh, you can get that, but uh, it's not the same price as what we were asking for because at my Domino's it's like five ninety nine each for two mediums, and uh, theirs was like twelve dollars for a medium pizza, and the other one was, um, what was it, like sixteen dollars for a large. And then we were like, fuck it, we'll get a large, $16, who cares, we'll split the cost. We end up going to the Domino's, they end up screwing up our order, we get a medium, we're like, no, we ordered a large, and she's like, oh, but we put down a medium, but no, we ordered a large, so they end up saying, okay, sorry, you can have this pizza, we'll make the large. We wait 10 minutes, and we finally get our large, and we're like, okay, fucking finally, we got our pizza, we can go home and eat. And we end up going to eat, when we get home, we open the large at the hotel, and what do you know? It's not freaking cut at all. There's no freaking lines or anything in it to cut, so we have to go get a freaking plastic knife and try cutting that shit. But I had to cut it, and it was like annoying, and the sauce was going everywhere. It made the pizza look like a janky ass pizza, and, um, and the pizza wasn't even done fully, and that was the worst Domino's I've ever had to experience with. For some reason, Domino's lately has been lacking. Domino's, step up your fucking game. Uh, so anyways, the pizza was shit. Uh, we ended up staying up the next night. Uh, then we left the next morning. We went to like a Ripley's Believe It or Not place and that was freaking fun. Uh, they had like little Easter egg stuff. You had to find like the little symbols that were above the doorways. You had to find them in the room and when you pressed them like cool other facts popped up. There's like hidden areas you could go into to find more areas. I thought it was pretty freaking sweet. And uh, that kind of wraps up our trip and what I did during this week. I hope you guys did enjoy. The gameplay was something for you guys to watch in the background. Nothing too specific. Hope you guys enjoyed Cyber Sundays nonetheless. Let me know in the comment section if I should do more like cut commentaries for Cyber Sundays or should I do more full gameplays. Let me know in the comment section. And if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. And I guess I'll catch your freaky faces. 
in the next video.